Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. And clearly, this girl is chomping at the bit to get started, so let's do just that. Today's foot is this one right here. We've got a cow with a sore right front foot, and that spot right there is the problem. We've got some sole separation and some heel bulb separation up here, which means, yes, we're going to have to remove all of this area in between to reveal the problem. So let's get started. Now you might notice when I start my videos, the feet always have debris on them, whether it be sand or straw or sawdust. And now you might have this idea that you should wash that off first. But the reason I don't is I put these things down on purpose to help dry the feet out before I work on them. The straw in the pens and in and around my trailer is to keep the cows from slipping, but it also soaks up any of the, the slurry that might be on the feet and dries them out. It makes that uh, cleaner working environment because when I'm running my grinders, I'm then not spraying that onto my clothing and onto my tools. Now that I've gotten that debris cleared away, it's pretty obvious where that spot is and where that problem is. If you couldn't see it before, of course, I don't need to have the foot that clean to see it. I'm, these things are in predictable spots and I kind of spot them pretty quickly. So let's get started grinding this and it'll become even more obvious. Now, if you're new to this channel or new to hoof trimming in general, and you see me working on this foot, grinding this foot, and your thought is, man, I wonder if that's producing heat and is that gonna hurt the cow with that heat from that grinder? The grinding wheel that I use is actually a cutting wheel. It's got carbide cutting teeth built into it that shave the hoof away. There's absolutely zero heat created when I'm working on these feet, when I'm taking these layers off. It's just simply shaving it down slowly. Now that we've got that trimmed down a bit, I can get the knife out and actually unveil the problem itself. Now, the reason we have two layers of horn here, where it appears to be two layers, is because this outer layer has separated in the cow's attempt to try to heal this lesion. And basically what happens is, is that crack that you saw at the beginning, that black dot, that over time, once it made its way to the outside, allowed bacteria to enter and actually infect the corium. When that happens, the cow's natural response is to have a, a period of uh, horn cessation, horn growth cessation, I should say, where that horn basically stops growing. And then when it restarts again, you get a layer of separation or a differentiation between the two layers. When that happens, that, that allows that, that released layer to kind of lift up a little bit and give some space for that lesion to heal. Now, obviously there's problems where we can get bacteria up inside behind that and can actually make these problems last longer. So it's not a foolproof system. That's why we intervene. We remove that outside layer of, of released horn and that exposes this lesion and allows it to heal much faster. You can see this girl's actually started to heal a bit on her own. A lot of, there's a lot of new sole form that would have all been released um, right down to the corium level at one time, but it's kind of filled in. There is a spot left though and that's what we're talking about when we say it can, it can impede the healing. Had that been wide open to the air, this entire area would have healed. So now that's what we're doing. We're removing this loose stuff to reveal what's left. We can treat that and get it all to heal now. Here you can get a better look at what's left, and though it is a small area, it can be very painful. Just because it's not large doesn't mean it's not painful. So we gotta get this healed up to take that pain away. And the next step to help this heal is I'm gonna glue a rubber block to this other claw. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm prepping this claw for that. Now the reason I didn't do that ahead of time at the beginning when I was trimming that other claw is I wanted to make sure, get a good look at that lesion to see what it looked like, make sure I was gonna need a block and that helps determine how high I want to leave that heel. 
Had I gotten in there and thought I didn't need a block or it was questionable, I could have used that added heel height from this lateral claw and not, not needed a block. But I want to put a block on that, so I'm getting that prepped now. The last step before my salicylic acid treatment is just to trim up right around the edges of this lesion, make sure I've got it all taken care of and cleaned up so that my treatment can get all the way to the lesion itself. And one last look before we put that treatment in place. A quick grind down of some overhanging glue, and this foot's ready for a test drive. And that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll leave you today with some more of that cow messing around with the headlocks. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you all on the next one.